Greetings, 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 and salutations, one and all. Are you in a dancing mood? Say big up stage and everyone locked in right now on the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew from all over the globe. Those locked in on tune in radio. On the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew, welcome to you. Big up to the massive out of New Jersey. Trying to keep warm. I give you some dancing music to warm up to, yeah? And now at this junction, we Much love to my brother D Nice. AKA the motivator. New Jersey's finest, I tell you. Wanna say big ups to the Long Island Massive. Acting with DJ Atomic Force. On Reggae Pulse Radio. Much love to you guys over there keeping the pulse. Uh, with, with temperatures that easy, you know, you have to check for it every so often. I don't envy you guys up north at all. Big ups to those who are locked in on the Foundation Radio Network, TintonLindsay.com. I'm sure Mr. Lindsay is happy that he moved from New York. Big ups to those who are locked in on, on uh, PEMGTV.com. Those on Clubhouse, those on Xeno FM, those on uh, Facebook Live. Massive on YouTube Live. And of course, those right here at the home of the night shift, DJ Kevin Stew, KevinStew.com. We are encouraged to have acceptance through enlightenment. So glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. You have my word. I wouldn't even try. The son of Suzanne, what's her name? Suzanne Macio or Macio. I think it's Macio, you know, because that, that C is a S sound. 
track is called We Come Out to Dance. I think the first time I played this song was sometime last year for Christmas. Suzanne Maceo, We Come Out to Dance. You have on your dancing shoes. If you're up north, uh, you're gonna have to put on some type of shoes. It's Real Talk Wednesday. Yeah, man, Real Talk Night. The last one before Christmas. I want to say thank you to my segment sponsors. Paul C Media Group and me in a moment is price. Let's go ahead and give him a call. They'll take care of your videos, your photos, your streaming, your ads. Everything you see here on KevinStew.com and more. So you have that event that you want to stream live. That wedding, that church service, funeral, party, graduation, seminar. They can take care of all of those. Just give them a call. 754-999-1140. That's 754-1... Sorry, 999-1140. Tell them you heard about them on the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew. I want to say thank you to Althea and her healing heavenly hands. Dance. Althea is used a licensed massage therapist that operates out of Broad County, North Miami and South Palm Beach County. She comes to you, bringing her table, her oils, and over 20 years massage therapy experience. After she had gotten out of the military, started working for the banking sector in, in the United States here. She wanted to do something after her degree. And she, be, she studied massage therapy. One of her very first clients was her baby daughter. So she has years of skills. Give her a call 954-655-9000. Schedule your appointment today. She only has one request outside of paying her. It is that you get off her table and go sleep somewhere else when she's done. I want to say thank you to Reggae Global Entertainment. Reggae Global, act as your booking agent, handle your tour management, take care of your business registration, legal service referrals, music production, marketing and promotion, and much, much more. Listen out for more things coming out of the Reggae Global family. Get familiar with the name Global Base. Give him a call today, 954-804-8199. Or check them out at reggaeglobal.com. Tell them Kevin Stew sent you. I want to say thank you to McNeil Trucking. McNeil Trucking is a veteran-owned, licensed, and insured mover in the state of Florida. So you want to move from the Keys up to Jacksonville? You want to move from Naples over to Palm Beach? From Pompano to Pensacola and all points in between? You want to put some things in storage? You don't have the manpower, you don't have the transportation, don't worry, you have the name, you have the number. McNeil Trucking. 954-406-9740 That's 954-406-9740 I Call them up, tell them Kevin Stew sent you There, McNeil Trucking With McNeil Trucking, your goods are in good hands that time of year when everybody gets together and uh, enemies become friends, relatives that you haven't spoken with in ages, pop up out of the woodwork giving you gifts or expecting gifts. Yeah, it's that Christmas time. And as we slide on into this 
Christmas period into the heart of it. Christmas coming up in a few days. What are your needs when it comes to your relationship? Wait, Stu, what? what? That's not Christmas related. Well, isn't it? Uh, What, relationships stop at Christmas? It's all focus on Christmas and gifts. So what if that is one of your needs as it relates to your relationship? Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that one, did you? So how many people are familiar with the hierarchy of needs? Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know it? You familiar with it even vaguely? Heard about it at least once. Go ahead and call your friends, tell your friends, friends of your friends, friends of your enemies, enemies of your friends and your enemies too. Tell them it's real talk on a night shift to DJ Kevin Stew. We're live and in living color. Phone lines are open. 773-789 Stew gets you in touch. 773-789-7839 You can call, text, WhatsApp, Telegram from anywhere in the world. You get in touch right here in the studio. Number scrolling across the bottom of your screen for those of you that are watching. 773-789-7839 Of course you can also jump into the stew pot. For those of you wondering what that is. It's what others call a chat room, but because we're fancy on KevinStew.com, we call it the stew pot. It's where we keep things interactive and bubbling. So come on over, jump on in. The water is always fine. You don't need to register. You don't need to offer a firstborn, an internal organ, or a blood sacrifice. Just go to KevinStew.com and you are there. You can remain anonymous. You can put your name so it makes it a little bit more personal. And let's interact. Share with me as I share with you. Suzanne Maceo Track called We Come Out to Dance This Christmas Into the new year All year through We Come Out to Dance But who are you going to dance with? Are you going to start a relationship? Are you going to make sure that the relationship that you're in lasts? You know how, How are things looking for you Into this holiday season? as it relates to relationships. Hmm. Well, there's a hierarchy of needs for relationships. And I I, I don't know how many people actually thought that such a thing existed, but it does. And so let's go ahead and dive on into it. Let's climb this pyramid of needs because once you're talking about Maslow's hierarchy you're talking about the pyramid according to um, Dr. Psych mom Maslow's hierarchy of needs is widely known in popular culture those of you who don't know it let me let me let me put up a picture for you so that that you can see what it looks like and what is 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 involved in in the hierarchy some people are very familiar with it some people not so much but this is what it looks like and when you start at the bottom of the pyramid you this is pretty much where you start and only when each need is fulfilled that you move up the pyramid and try to fulfill the next one the four lowest levels were termed deficiency needs because they bring someone up to baseline. So, real quick, you have physical at the bottom, which is the need for air, water, food, shelter, health. Well, rest and health. Above that is security. That is where shelter comes in. It's a need for safety and stability. And above that... So when that need is met, you meet the physical need, which takes you to the, to the security need. When you meet the security need, then you go for your social need. That is a need to be loved, to, be lo- to belong, to have inclusion. 
when that need is fulfilled, then you move up to the ego need. And this is the need for self-esteem, power, recognition, and prestige. When that need is met, then you arrive at the, at the top, the apex, self-actualization, which is the need for development create, and creativity. So that's pretty much the hierarchy. Now, as it relates to Dr. Psych Mom, the four lowest levels were termed deficiency needs, and that's because they bring someone up to baseline. You only worry about them if you are lacking. An, an example is people who do not generally feel happy and fulfilled by having food or having a food, but if they are hungry, they are certainly anxious about it. You, you can still go ahead and call your friends. You know, we're just getting started. Then, if if so, if they're hungry, they may be anxious about the food. These deficiency needs comprise uh, physiological, safety, social, and ego needs. And at the top level deemed the growth need because only this can allow people to fulfill their true potential. Now, not everyone meets their four lower level needs and that can self-actualize. Yeah, you might meet the four levels, the four lower levels, but you don't quite have a grasp on it. And so the self-actualization doesn't really work. It doesn't really happen. The thing about this part is it requires a lot of internal work. And so more often than not, we find that it is quite rare. Now, the writer goes on to say, I often think about couples as having a similar hierarchy of needs, with the relationship being the unit in which the, the needs can be, can be filled rather than the self. Pyramids may look a little bit different for different couples, but it is useful to understand what each partner conceives as a deficiency, a deficiency need versus a growth need. A lot of the conflict between partners can be attributed to the fact that each person thinks uh, of, a, of baseline needs versus higher order needs differently. Additionally, people can conceive of their relationship pyramids differently at different stages of their lives and of their relationships. An example being a young woman with a newborn baby may have very different needs from her partner relationship or partner or relationship than an older woman with adult children. The young woman is likely concerned about uh, physiological needs and safety needs more than self-actualization. Her husband can fulfill these needs by getting up with the baby, bringing home a paycheck and doing housework. When this same woman gets to a different stage. She may be much less focused on these levels and want to move toward a, a more attuned, emotionally, and mentally connected partnership. For many people, physical affection is the lowest and most basic pyramid level. And Many tend to agree because they, they situate sex and physical affection as a basic human need. Many of us do. And this is on par with food and shelter that helps keep the species alive. When a partner who perceives sex this way is coupled with a partner who dismisses this need, it can be cataclysmic for the relationship. Similarly, another basic human need is emotional closeness. 
And this is borne out by research on failure to thrive babies in orphanages who die despite getting food and shelter. Most non-avoidant people put this one on the basic level as well. Couples have very different conceptualizations of what actualization would entail for their relationship. Some people cannot feel truly fulfilled unless they feel they and their partner are aligned on political values. Some people want their sex life to be more adventurous. Some want to be allied on financial goals and ensure their children are well taken care of. Some want all of these and more. Other people are happy being fairly different and leading parallel lives. These people are unlikely to want to have discussions about the relationship in the first place. Introspect about what needs you would place at different levels of your relationship as it relates to your hierarchy of needs. And discuss with your partner, if, if they're interested, that is, these needs that you may have. Find out what their needs may be. It can be a new way to understand why you and your partner may frustrate one another deeply. Note that many people do not think that the theory of love languages really goes deep enough to help their relationship. Thinking of certain areas of needs versus preferences may be a helpful lens through which to understand your satisfactions and dissatisfactions with your relationship. And these are different perspectives that you can take as it relates to examining where you are with your relationship, what your relationship looks like, what you need from your relationship, and what you expect from your relationships, your partners, partner or partners, as the case may be. And so, because you're dealing with people, they're going to look different as you, you examine your various relationships. Now, my use of relationship as at at this particular point in time is all relationships yes just now as i was presenting the information to you i was saying the romantic partnership but consider all your relationships consider your 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 your, your siblings and your your relatives your family members consider your friends consider your co-workers what needs do you have as it relates to those relationships and how you see the success and the growth of those relationships and you in those relationships? Have you considered that? How do you view your relationships at work? How do you view your relationships with your teammates, whether it is the the football team, the volleyball team, the basketball team, whichever team, if you play sports. Are there aspects that you could examine a little bit deeper? Are all your needs being met to let your relationship grow to the next level, whatever that next level would be? Yes, as it relates to this topic tonight, relationship hierarchy of needs, we'll be focusing mostly on the partner relationships, that eros relationship. But the found, at, at its foundation, this can be applied to all relationships. It's just a matter of how you see it and how you apply it. So we're going to take a break. And while we're off on the break, we, we're going to part company with, with those on um, Clubhouse and those on Facebook. And 
we're gonna come back and look a little deeper at relationships and the hierarchy of needs as it relates to relationships what are your partner's needs as it relates as as according to maslow what what are some of your partner's needs have you thought about that or has the focus really been on just your needs did you know there are some unmet basic needs and when these needs are not met they may have some serious effects on your relationships well as we go through tonight we're going to be looking at some of those things call your friends tell your friends it's real talk on the night shift to dj kevin stew we're going to take a break and as we normally do let me remind you to get your copy of the audiobook. Which audiobook empower steps and strategies every woman should know about self defense? Authored by Jonathan Field, narrated by yours truly, Kevin Stew. You can get your copy of the book by going through kevinstew.com, clicking on the image of the book, the book cover. And it takes you to exactly where you need to be to get your copy of the audiobook. You can listen to uh, a, what, like a three and a half minute clip of the book to see how much you may like it. Believe me, those first three and a half minutes will, will get you hooked. You, you still have time to gift it. Get it for someone you know today. And it's good for men too, not because it's titled essential concepts and strategies every woman should know about self-defense it's good for everyone to know this but definitely because we all have women in our lives get it someone will thank you Quasi media group innovative streaming and recording has done it again a new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30 second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulse Media Group. Today in school, I out a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, in math, I learned that I'm ugly and useless. And in gym, in biology, I learned that I'm pathetic that I'm fat and a joke. And in history, today in I learned school, that I'm trash. Today in school, I learned that I have, I have no, friends. no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one In biology, I learned that I'm fat and stupid. And in math, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today... The only thing I didn't learn today... The only thing I didn't learn... Is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. Ladies, lovers, lovers of the music, it is here. The brand spanking new album from Ed Robinson and Ian Sweetness, a tribute to Teddy Pendergrass. Amazing. Turn off the light. Ten blazing tracks. Two amazing singers going hit for hit classic for classic 
a tribute to Teddy Pendergrass. Ian Sweetness and Robinson. Oh, man. Is out now. Available everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your music, it is there. A tribute to Teddy Pendergrass, brand spanking new, Ian Sweetness and Robinson. Ladies, gentlemen, you've got to have this in your collection. Get it now. Available everywhere. Bruv, my last baby already gone off to college, mate. Is what this is saying come give me, man? Is a big album still? I love it. Big up Ed Robinson, Ian Sweetness, but this better come with a contraceptive. It's Chris Center representing for DJ Kevin. You see me, I say, I don't know the boss. You see me, I say, DJ Kevin's too. And a night shift radio show, yo, it thing at the thing, turn up the thing loud. Whoa, DJ Kevin's too, at the heart of a champion. Never underestimate, just chose him. The silver line behind the dark clouds. DJ Kevin's true believing and that's no doubt. Sell out the night shift with a show, Christine. Just a hot to talk. Loud. Merry Christmas, everybody. Baby. When you're coming home, I need you, baby. When snowflakes start to fall. From the break, track called Home for Christmas. Uh, 
they say they love the smell of our neighbors cooking. Uh, does that mean you are not cooking, Althea? Well, you know, talk to me. What's going on here? Uh, what's going on with the neighbors? Uh, you're watching their pot. It's real talk night. And we're looking at the relationship hierarchy of needs. What needs do you have? What needs do your partner have? As it relates to the hierarchy of needs for relationships. Now, P.S. I love you. Says that the idea... The one writer, one contributor to PSI Love You says, the idea came to me during one of our casual pillow talks. That time in the morning before having your coffee, but after getting up to open the balcony door so that you can breathe again. My girlfriend falls into two extremes. She either resorts to yeses and noes and mmms and lets me guess what she's thinking and well during this time she doesn't usually get mad when i'm wrong or just like on that morning she talks about everything and everyone bouncing from one topic to the next and all i do is hold on for dear life trying to follow along again she doesn't blame me if i fail the topic must have taken a turn towards relationship sex or a combination of the two as she began to talk about her new roommate she had only known her briefly yet they've already led some intimate discussions as girls sometimes do i guess and in short the room the roommate's boyfriend was far from ideal far from even sufficiently satisfying in many aspects of their dating life. And one specific detail that stuck in my mind and that we giggled about compassionately was that their sex life was apparently in the three to five minute realm. Now, for some, I think that is excellent. For others, they think that doesn't, is nothing to speak of (laughs) and one should never mention it again it's a very stark difference from our own experience the writer goes on and she agreed with my conclusion that such a relationship won't last hi it's the girlfriend here I'll be joining in as we continue along to provide a more complex view of the problematic. Basically, I'm sharing my opinion while trying to be helpful. (laughs) And the first major component I have to make regarding my roommate's relationship. Well, it is no more. Fun fact, he broke up with her. Now, you hear a story like this and you start to think, wait... Is this for real? Well, for those who haven't had that kind of experience, you would probably wonder that. But for the rest of us, we know that this is real. People in a relationship are generally in it for the benefits of having a whole spectrum of their needs fulfilled. Yes, their needs. Which means they have to be able to fulfill those needs for each other. Maslow comes to mind with his famous hierarchy of human needs, relatively universal for everyone. The individual ways of fulfilling these, however, changes from one person to another. From a guy to a girl, from a feminine to a masculine, from an INTP to an ESFJ, and the comparisons go on. As a straight male... I can only base my non-specific expertise on the specimen of women I have dated. The writer goes on. I am hoping this article will help both men and women. Basically anyone who relates to my dissection of Maslow's needs in terms of partnered life. I want to show women 
and men that their needs are not irrelevant and that they can and should expect true fulfillment in a romantic relationship. Now, for those who aren't too familiar with Maslow's, hier hier Maslow's hierarchy of needs, here's an example. Now, it's going to sound in immature, but the girlfriend of the writer goes on to say, I love The Sims, the video game. It's a simulation where you take care of, a, of virtual people in their virtual communities. The second series of the game was released in 2004 and the, me the mechanic of well-being of Sims was based on Maslow's hierarchy. Firstly, they needed to not be starving, stinky, exhausted and bored out of their minds, which is your physiological need. Secondly, if the kitchen was on fire, they would not keep watching television in the living room, which is their safety and security. And if all was well, there was a good chance they felt like making friends and making out with their neighbors. Hmm? They did that in The Sims? Which takes care of the belongingness and love. And if above all, well, all of that, they had a loving family and a circle of good friends, they would strive to pursue their passions and become space pirates and mad scientists or whatever aspirations. This was the self-esteem and self-actualization, the pyramid, the, the apex of the pyramid. If the player is failing to fulfill any of those, the results ranged from demotivated sims to dead sims. And that, in short, is a summary of Maslow's hierarchy of needs in practice. <laughs> so, based on the sims, their idea of it, that, that pyramid looks something like this that I'm showing you now. Um, I probably need to fix this just a little bit on the camera. Da -da 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 -da. Give me two seconds. Let me make an adjustment here and expand that over there and expand that over there. Those of you that are watching, you can see what is going on. Those of you that are listening, you can just use your mind's eye and know that I just adjusted the screen. So, here is the pyramid as it relates to the Sims, as, as the writer's girlfriend put it out there. Now, here you have at the base your physiological needs, food, warmth, rest, and sex. Safety needs comes up above that. Then the belongingness of and, and, and love, which is your relationship and friends. Then your accomplishments being your esteem needs. And then at the apex, your mad scientists and space pirates, the self-actualization segment. And those are her needs. But... On the other side, beside this pyramid, which depicts her needs, you have your role as the partner in this relationship to the woman that has these needs. And you, at the, the foundation of it, you need to be a good lover. Focus on her sexual needs and take care of her in illness. On top of that, when that need is met, you give her a psychological backup. Remind her how strong she is and defend her. That's the safety aspect being taken care of. Then you're going to make her feel loved and that you are a unit. You stand by her. You give her a little love gestures. And that takes care of the middle tier of the pyramid, that section of belongingness and love. Then 
you have the tear just beneath the apex which is being her champion where you listen and encourage her to be herself you stay with her in bad times and you celebrate her accomplishments and at the apex of it all you accept her as she is now will this concept work for her? <laughs> that's all i can give you mm -hmm. but there you you have the pyramid drawn out so let's start start with the physiological needs imagine a scenario 10 minutes to midnight moon is full dogs are howling like crazy you have just finished a love making session your partner relieved and half asleep you rolling your eyes <laughs> the question well did it did it happen for you uh yeah yeah it did you spend the next 10 minutes pleasuring yourself while your partner snores into your ear you look at whatever time on the clock and wish for a better day tomorrow now unfortunately for many women this is their reality sex is the only activity where all your senses are fully engaged and it can be extremely pleasurable and also extremely frustrating. As with many things in life, what works for one won't work for the other. Imagine buying prescription glasses and the sales lady tells you to buy the same type that she has. Because they work perfectly for her. No analysis, no consideration for your needs. Imagine having that experience. Is that where you'd want to shop? Now, here is a loud secret, <laughs> as according to the writer. Only one out of five girls, five women, would in theory reach the big O with intercourse only. Ladies, if you are that one you could just shoot me a message shoot me a quick message seven seven three seven eight nine stew um I, I probably will not get a whole lot of messages here's why it is highly not if not extremely unlikely to happen in a case of the three to five minute guys not to say you know don't get a girlfriend unless your sex is like top of the game you don't have to master every technique you've seen in porn films or um in magazines basically what is being said here is that you need to focus on the needs specific to your partner The writer's girlfriend says, I hate to bring you down, but I'd say that percentage could in reality be even less favorable. Since reaching uh, the big O depends on so many factors for women. And listening to women talk about what it takes to get her to that place is one of the things that more men probably need to do to have successful relationships. Some says it, it gets better with age. Now, I don't know if it is the woman's age or the man's age that makes it get better. They didn't say that part. The obsession with the big O, orgasms, is not helping, however. The pressure of expectation often halters the progress completely. 
remember the golden rule. Sex is not about orgasms. It's great when it happens. And great when they don't. For the guys out there, imagine what it would be like for you to have to be in that moment where an orgasm doesn't make the finale. Would you consider it a failed session if you didn't have that orgasm at all? And I think this is where some men need to place themselves when it relates to that aspect that aspect of their relationship that's the sexual component in their relationships most of female orgasms in heterosexual porn are fake sad to say um and that 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 is a note actually coming from a woman because I guess she watches it, watches it too. You know, everybody does their thing. Some girls needs, need lots of foreplay. Many girls don't really know what works for them. Exploring their sexuality together is a great advantage to, uh, to adventure sorry, to engage in. Does she have a special kink? Does she prefer things like being on top? Um, how do you know this? Have you had the discussion? Is that a discussion that you can have? Chances are she would love you for just trying. And there are very few things that beat the feeling of being desired by your partner. Simple things. So, have you had that discussion with your partner about what it is that they need at the base of it all the very the the the, the foundation of your relationship men have you spoken to your partners about their basic needs so what do we need to do we need to go do some homework we need to talk to our partners men i'm talking to you now we need to talk to our partners and find out you know have 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 we been meeting your needs and if at the foundation of it the physical aspect of the relationship needs to be taken care of before you can get anywhere else that is where you need to start and for many of us men having that discussion as it relates to our sexual performance is not something we want to engage in unless we know that we leave them begging for more but not being able to get it. In other words, they're well-pleasured but so broken down that they, they can't go another moment. You know, that, 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 that place, <laughs> that finally balanced pivoted place where pop down meets ready for the world <laughs> you can't really explain it you just have to be there now there's no need for marriage vows at this point some people marriage vows don't work for them at all just be there for your partner when she's not doing well, be there. And it can be tricky with some women because they might not be vocal about not feeling well. Try to read between the lines. And if you are not that type, ask. And maybe cancel that match with the friends to stay with her. Bring her a warm cup of coffee or a cup of tea, a cup of chocolate if that is what you're into. Just kick it together. Hug. Listen to some music. Watch a silly show. She will remember your gesture. And you can go to the next match. You can go do the next thing that the guys are going to be going out to do. 
And that makes a difference. And so you have women that say, you know, <laughs> hey, I, I, I get mean when I'm tired. The writer's girlfriend said, someone once told me that men get horny during the night and early in the morning. Well, if, if, if that's what happens with, that's what she was told, then that's what she was told. Not all men do, but wherever she got her information, I don't know. And this is the time when she wants to go to sleep. I beg not to be woken up before my time and wish, and my wish is always granted. I appreciate it very much. Once I saw a guy who woke me up <laughs> uh, three times in one night. Well, that was our last night. Men, do you know if the women in your life, if, if this is the kind of thing that they like? And again, have you had the discussion? Now, needless to say, some relationships go on past their due just to keep fulfilling the need to belong. But let's not just start off there. Maybe it's the way you smile or that particular joke you made. Maybe it's sending 23 roses on Monday or bringing earrings to match her eyes. Maybe it's leaving hidden notes in a book that she's been reading. Maybe it's just telling her how great she looks. When you do that, she will shout it to the world. And I guess that speaks to the belonging aspect. Because when we feel like someone loves us, when we feel like we belong somewhere, we are, that's, that's, that's one of our core needs met. And so we walk out happy. When it comes to our esteem, no matter how strong your partner might be, they need encouragement and approval. And it's a human trait to present our weak side to the ones we love. Well, if your pride hasn't gotten the best of you. It's a tough world for ladies. They are judged in more ways than guys are. And they also have stronger social components than most guys. Sometimes things can get rough on both of us, both genders. When a woman opens up her weak side to you, first of all, it's a sign of trust. You celebrate that. Secondly, you need to treat her like gentlemen would. Show her that you are on her side. And, well, they're saying if you have to lie, then do that. I am saying if the truth is going to be painful, deliver it with tact. And then support her through it. She wants to do one thing, but fears what her family will say about it. Tell her you trust her judgment. She is looking for a new job and is not sure of her capabilities. Show her some valid arguments that she can land it. She makes art, but is afraid of the public reception. Stand by her until she is ready. Celebrate her wins. Forgive her wrongdoings. Be her champion. You need to believe in what she does. You need to pump her up when she needs it. And you need to provide a safe haven for when things get rough. After you've gotten through this, then comes the self-actualization. This is either the easiest or the hardest part. Because if you have done your part, supporting your partner up to the top of the pyramid, you have given the opportunity for them to blossom. The writer's girlfriend says, being in love can be life-changing. It has helped me to keep my depression in control. In fact, it has made me happy as I haven't been able in a while 
to be happy. When we're happy, we're motivated. When we're motivated, we do great, great things. At this point, you, be, you being that pillar for your partner, they have nothing but ultimate levels of gratitude that you are there with and for them. A reminder here. Remember you're walking a path with your partner. Accept, care, and stay. Don't judge, don't change. Don't be just the guy she is with. True miracles will come your way. Nothing is more powerful in life than being in love. Here's a challenge though. With self-actualization comes the honest truth, the painful truth to self of who you are. Does your partner know that about you? If they already do, then the battle is already won. If they don't, the battle has just begun. We're going to take another break. When we come back, we're going to look at three unmet basic needs and their effects on relationships, according to psychology today. We'll be back after these few messages. Call your friends, tell your friends, friends of your friends, friends of your enemies, enemies of your friends, and your enemies too. It's a night shift with DJ Kevin Stew. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, The Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. Making great music is one thing, sharing it with the world, that's another. Let the professionals at Reggae Global Entertainment help you to another level. Specializing in artist management, booking, public relations and marketing, and promotion. Reggae Global Entertainment can help you with event planning, websites, photography, and video production, press releases, legal services, and graphic design. They can even help you with music production so you can get the sound that you want every time. Call Reggae Global Entertainment at 954-804-8199. That's 804-8199. Or visit them online at reggaeglobalentertainment.com. MRE Entertainment, in association with VPAL Distribution, presents the brand new hit single. Hi, I'm Robert French, and you're listening to my new song, Every day of my life. Now available on all major digital platforms. Every day of my life will be. I'm just loving you. Spend the rest of my life always. I'm just loving you. Every day of my life will be. I'm just loving you. Spend the rest of my life. When being in the moment is priceless, consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Media Group, 
when being in the moment is priceless. Yes, yes, yes. A car man, you know, I'm making no sense right now. You are locked in to DJ Kevin Stew on the night shift. fun it's gonna be together this christmas fireside is blazing bright and we're caroling through the night and this christmas will be a very special christmas for me are here. My world is filled with cheer and you. This Christmas, and as I look around, your eyes outshine the town they do. This Christmas, fireside is blazing bright. of G-Mac acoustically his rendition of this Christmas uh, what are you bringing to the table this Christmas what will this Christmas bring for you Will it be any different from last Christmas? Will it be your best Christmas yet? Uh, tonight we look at relationship the relationship hierarchy of needs. Are your needs being met? Do you even know what your needs are? Shake a hand, shake a hand So according to psychology today, there are three unmet basic needs and they have some effects on uh, relationships the first of these unmet basic needs would be the need for safety if your childhood was less than ideal you're not alone many of us have experienced childhoods that included family turmoil, unstable living conditions, violence between caregivers, betrayal, abandonment, emotional or physical abuse or neglect. These kinds of traumatic experiences often trigger a pattern where instability, unpredictability or inconsistency lead to one or more of a child's basic needs going unmet. How a child sees themselves and how they engage with the world are products of biology and the environment, which includes their mental schemas being formed. Schemas formed in childhood walk hand in hand with how, conscient, uh, how consistently a child receives their most basic needs. When a schema is formed based on healthy upbringing, these, ty these typically generalize to 
healthy and adaptive adult schemas, which further generalize into healthy romantic relationships. On the flip side, if an unhealthy schema is formed in childhood, it can distort how an event is responded to, both emotionally and behaviorally. Thus, traumatic experiences often leave a child with holes, so to speak, in their emotional development, and that remain unmet even when they become adults. Here's an example. A child who is allowed to do whatever they want without limits may grow up developing an air of entitlement where they believe relationship rules do not apply to them. Similarly, a child that is raised by emotionally neglecting, neglect parents, um, sorry, emotionally negligent parents, or with caregivers who do not provide, uh, what's this, nurturance, guidance, or let the child feel seen and heard, may develop a schema that others are not to be trusted and will never provide the love or acceptance they need. Never is such a strong word, but I can see that 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 schema developing. I can see something like that happening. Now, these schemas operate an, on an unconscious level where early patterns replay in a person's adult relationships. Hence, schemas that are actually dysfunctional and self-limiting may feel right because the person is choosing toxic relationships that resonate as familiar or comfortable with their existing unhealthy schemas. You wonder how people end up in these relationships that just look doomed and they have a cycle of or, or they go from one destined to doom relationship to another and you wonder why they keep doing that it's because of what they know it is what they're familiar with so when something else comes along they don't know how to navigate that space and they don't want to get involved with that but they will get involved with something that is destined to doom destined to fail so here are three unmet childhood needs that can cause emotional and relational issues in a person's adult life. First being safety. Safety needs include safety, security, trust, predictability, reliability, consistency, nurturance, and guidance. If a child cannot feel safe in their environment or trust that their caregivers are going to be there for them consistently and reliably, these wounds typically create attachment trauma and adult relational problems that can resonate with fears of emotional intimacy and vulnerability. Most notable is when a child experiences emotional or physical abandonment or betrayal from a parent or primary caregiver. When safety needs are missing or incomplete in childhood, this can set a person up for adulthood or of, of, of chasing safety in their romantic relationships. This dynamic is commonly seen in the rescuer-victim dynamic, where a person who has unmet needs may look outward at their significant other to fix or save them. Or they may overcompensate for a lack of feeling safe by being controlling or a fixer in their relationships. Other common red flags that result from unmet safety needs include internal schemas that resonate with not feeling good enough or that everyone will eventually abandon them. In adult, traumatic, in adult romantic relationships, an unmet need for safety can generalize into patterns of being controlling, manipulative, or a personality disorder such as narcissistic personality disorder. For those of you wondering where this narcissistic behavior could have come from, here you go. Needs as a child not being met. So you grow up with, 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 with being in this position where you have to make sure 
for yourself that everything will go right. The second of the three being autonomy. Now autonomy is defined as our ability to know who we are at our core and to act on our own feelings, be beliefs and interests. Our development of self-love and self-trust is fundamental to having a sense of autonomy. When a child's basic need for independence and autonomy are not met, this can create developmental holes where they may have gone unseen, unheard, or controlled as a child. If a child is not taught how to be autonomous, they are also not being taught how to establish a sense of self-identity or how to trust their judgment. Mental schemas that may have developed in childhood as a result of this dynamic may include beliefs that they are incapable of caring for themselves or that others are needed to turn, turn, to, turn to for the right answer. I know children today that are dealing with this kind of schema from a parent. And the parent in, 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 in their minds are doing an awesome thing to make sure that they are there for that child. But they're there for them in such a way that it doesn't create a sense of autonomy. Hence, leaving them at the center of the child's life at all times two problems that I see here at play. One, the parent having needs not met as a child, taking it into adulthood, overcompensating and projecting that onto their own children, causing a cyclical effect. Because one end of the cycle, that child didn't have anyone to depend on. Now, as an adult is leaving their child to constantly depend on them. In no way, shape, or form does that end well. In a person's adult relationships, a lack of autonomy can predispose them to mirroring. And they're mirroring others as a way of trying to gain a sense of self. Or they may have a constant need for external validation. So they end up people-pleasing. And they do this as a way of gauging their own behavior through the approval of others. Because of these needs, these needs deficits, a person may appear clingy and unable to advocate for themselves. They may not be able to make their own choices or may be constantly turning to, to, to their partner as having the answers. And thirdly, parents or primary caregivers who are neglectful, self-absorbed, abusive, critical, or absentee can instill feelings of invalidation, not being good enough, or establishing a pattern of pathological romantic relationships as a way of attaching to another in an attempt of getting an unmet need for love. When there's a lack of love in childhood, it typically predisposes a child to not understanding what love is. Instead, children raised without feeling a sense of love may become adults who confuse sex as intimacy. Codependency is confused as love. Abuse, mistaken for connection. A lack of love in childhood can place an adult at an increased risk for mental health issues, including major depression, substance abuse, low self-worth, or compulsive behaviors toward love. Three things that in childhood development, three things as it relates to basic needs, basic hierarchical needs that could potentially have some serious effects if they're lacking as children when you get to adulthood. 
safety, autonomy, and love. If you have, if you are a parent and a parent of young children and you find that you are depriving your child of any of these things, you have time to fix it. Not to say that those with adult children who have gone through this don't have time to fix it because they can get therapy and work through this to become better versions of themselves. But you as the parent, having put your child through this into their adulthood lives, have to recognize that you still have some work to do on you. And when it comes to relationships, if you think that your relationship is the best thing there is as a result of just your efforts, you are wrong. Because it started way before you got to this part of life. And the reverse is also true. If you have been failing in your relationships, all along up until this point it is because some basic needs haven't been met for those who are working through their relationships and have no clue where to go next try figuring out what your hierarchy of needs in your relationship are work through those take Ma Maslow, Maslow's hierarchy of needs and create your own hierarchy of relationship needs discuss it with your partner or partners as the case may be and see if you can develop a better relationship for you and in the mix in the midst of all of that if you can find yourself a good therapist for you individually not a relationship therapist, not a couple therapist, not you know, just a real app therapist for you. Because it all starts with you. Work on self first. Because you cannot give from an empty cup. We're gonna go into musical therapy. We're kicking it off with Miss Joanna Marie. Or should I say, Mrs. Robinson? It's late December. This track is called For Christmas. You've been gone for a while. I just can't remember. When's the last time I kissed that smile? I met you and I together. The spy aside Still this picture of you and I brought tears to
that you need for Christmas not what you want what is it that you need this is out of Marcia J Ball working out with Raj and I it's called another love song As I play this song, I kind of have I have mixed feelings. Let me let me let me pull this song up for a moment. I have mixed feelings because condolences go out to Marcia J. Ball. Her mom transitioned yesterday. This is the woman that was a real inspiration to her, and where she says she gets her musical, her singing talent from. And so she transitioned yesterday, but also. The person who she's doing this duet with, he celebrated an Earth Date yesterday. And so, it is with mixed feelings that I play this song right now, because one half of the duet is mourning a loss, and the other half is celebrating yet another trip around the sun. (laughs) Interesting how life tends to play out, isn't it? Selfish, but I really do not care. When you 
classic from Kashif Lindo. It's titled The Coldest Days of My Life. Parts of the US experiencing that right now. They were birds. Genuine love. It's the world you're one of a kind. I remember the first time I saw your face. The crowded room felt like an empty place. Smile so bright as the sun. I could have tell it my sugar plum plum. I knew that you were meant for me, yeah. Genuine love, genuine love, it's a one of a kind. Genuine love, genuine love, it's a hard to find. Could I search till that kingdom come? You are waste of time. Hear me now, now. When they say something, say something, I got that one right here now. Money be loving, I got that on the front page. I approach the woman again. I she a tell me, say she want me pay our bills them Love has become a business So if I get catching on the truck that I feel your business That kind of thing is not for me, no Genuine love, genuine love, it's so hard to find Genuine love, genuine love, it's so one of a kind Genuine love, genuine love, it's so hard to find Could I search till that kingdom come, you are waste your time Yeah, yeah Give me that old school loving, that's what I really believe in Making love till the morning, true love ain't that something So I'm gonna stay in my lane, I'm still gonna play my game Genuine love Genuine love, it's so hard to find Genuine love, genuine love, it's a one of a kind Genuine love, genuine love, it's so hard to find Oh, that's such a lightning, no, 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 no
searching and searching and searching and searching. She been through ups and down. She been round and round. I see her full time. This is on a Jadan from Shitside The Track called Real Love. Tell me I the right boy. All my bills are covered. Long as me give you some good good love. Real love. This you are feel love. Can't take the one night love. I say she want me to say this. She want real love. This you are feel love. Now she come and hold it up Till I see her fear When this for me start She want me left me girlfriend And live with her Say she just not go share me Anything I want me to tell her She will care me Love up, you not hear me True love find me I must just design me Real love Say she want real love Can't take me one night love I say she want me she been through ups and down she been round and round I see her full time Fear settled down From she sight the eye She tell herself to me I'm the right one All my bills are to burn Long as me give her some good good love and Real love Say she want real love This is on a Tony Roy. Check it's called I'll Do Anything. I don't know if it's anything that I would do. We used to walk love. Do you remember when we used to talk love? Do you remember when we used to sing love? Do you remember when we used to preach love? I remember maybe yes. I do want to Christmas. Christmas, I come, 
This is on a Malachi Smith. The track is called Miss My Christmas. Miss My Jamaican Christmas. People running around like mule kids taking Santa on their backs to school. The three wise men and selling a phone. Trying to find their way back home. Before first night, but them can't get a flight till I do the Christmas. I do the Christmas. working out to Trinity oh, yeah, the rendition of Silence Night
coming to us, it's near you. Some version of Santa this weekend. Just a few days. Santa Claus will come to your town. Coming up this weekend, the Saturday Stew, a special edition. Uh, you won't get to experience it unless you're there. So you know what you gotta do, right? You got to make it. Uh, come by, let's have some fun. Mr. Cass Smith. Check is called Journeys. Of the title of the from the album of the same title.
artist Toad. Well, not so new. She's been around for a while. Making a push in preparation for the launch of her first album. Her name is Chave. This is just track, it's called Father. Definitely one of those tracks that I can use in my Give Thanks segment. Yeah, my Attitude of Gratitude segment on uh, the Saturday Stew. She goes by the name Chave. Oh, and I guarantee you I'll be using this one. As I bounce through that Studio of Gratitude segment on Saturday in the Saturday Studio, a very special edition on Reggae Global Radio. 8 p.m. Eastern. You don't want to miss it. I want to thank you, each and everyone, for sticking out with me through this week. A Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. If we don't get to interact again before then. Look over for members of your community. Remember your community is not the development that you live in, but it spreads far and wide. Those that you pass on the bus, the plane, the boat, or the train, whether they walk, ride, or drive. These are members of your community. Do something good for one of them today because you never know who's going to do something good for you tomorrow. My name is Kevin Stewart, so I like to do it to you, for you, and with you every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here, kevinstew.com and affiliates. Thank you to the affiliates also. I truly appreciate love you. Good morning, good afternoon, good day to you, wherever you are in the world. From right here in South Florida, I bid you all a very good night. Take care of yourselves. Be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. Catch you Saturday, all being well, on Reggae Global Radio for the Saturday Stew at 8 p.m. Take care of yourselves, y'all. I'm out of here. Greetings and salutations, one and all. You're invited to tune in to the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew. It airs on Mondays with Community and Finance, Tuesdays with Healthy Love, and Wednesdays with Real Talk from 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern Time. Come spend some time interacting in the stew pot where we keep things bubbling and wind down in musical therapy. The night shift with DJ Kevin Stew is on kevinstew.com where you're encouraged to have acceptance through enlightenment.